Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to send data from STM32 blue pill to the computer and then we're going to save into the database. We connect like this. From the USB to serial port, we are getting data to the database through Node.js. It's in the MySQL workbench. We can see the data here and date time is here. Let's build this one. For the wiring connection, we don't need to connect anything to the blue pill. We can connect to the ST-Link and plug in the computer and open the Cube IDE. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Click RCC. And for the high speed clock, Crystal Ceramic Resonator. Click Connectivity, click USB and tick the Device FS. Now click Middleware, USB Device and select Communication Device Class. Now for the clock configuration, this one, and click No, No, and here, Enter 72. Enter. And click OK. That's all the setting. We can click Save. In the description below of this video, I have provided a website link. When we go there, I have provided a code there. This one. And the QID setting is here. We've already done. For the code, User code begin includes, we need to include these two lines. Copy these two lines and we go to user code begin include, that's here. And click here and paste. And the next one, user code begin PV. this one and we copy these two line and paste it in user code begin pv it's here and finally in the while loop we copy and paste these four lines copy and paste it here so what's happening is it there, there's a integer value I initialized that's here. I, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to send this one. I'm going to add one and then send again every one second. I'm going to send the addition number. So instead of this data, you can provide the sensor data or something. So in the while loop, so I'm Converting to character and then sending and then adding one to the data and keep sending again and again. So we can click save and we can click the green button to flash the code. We can click OK and upload the code. If it doesn't work, click debugger and for the probe, select open OCD and uh, so generate option and reset mode is software system reset click apply and click ok it will work now now all good it's uploaded i have uploaded the code now i can unplug this one and unplug this one i don't need this one anymore we use a usb cable like this and uh, plug this side and uh, this one we plug into the computer uh, first we need to find out the com port number it's using for that below here there's a search bar and click there and type device manager d e v i so this is the one device manager control panel 
click that one and there should be ports com and lpt visible if it is not visible click view and show hidden devices and then expand the port so there are many ports see this one is highlighted it's a dark color that's com 8 so that is the usb port connected to make sure that's the correct one i remove it i remove the usb cable and when we when i go below it's not highlighted anymore so that's the correct one so i click it again usb cable plug it again go below so that's the one com8 so i'm going to use com8 for you it may be different you make sure that you to use the right one now we click in the search bar again type cmd that's for the command prompt and click command prompt and you can click create a new folder if you want so i'm going to create mkdir usb enter cd usb to go to that folder in there i'm going to create npm init enter so it should work if it doesn't work you, you don't have npm installed so i have made a separate video how to install npm node node and uh, mysql it's available here now for that i'm going to just keep the default one click enter for the entry point i'm going to type app.js everything else default i'm going to enter enter now we go to my web page this is the one we finished npm init done so i'm going to copy npm install this so go there and paste it here yeah i got lot of error that's mean i don't have python 3 installed that's why i'm getting error so just check p y t h o n 3 enter and you should get command prompt if you have installed because i don't have installed so it's directing me to install it so i'm going to install it now so install button is here click to install it yeah it's installed now i can close this one now try the npm installed serial port and mysql again Yeah, now it's installed now i'm going to in open the visual studio code for that i type code dot if you don't have installed it i created the video how to install visual studio code you can find it here and enter now i can close this one and uh, in the usb i click and create a new file app.js enter and here i have provided the code in my website that's a testing code the, these five lines copy and paste there copy and go to visual studio code and paste so this is uh, require the requiring the port and set the port that's com8 for you it may be different and change it to com8 and then get the parser and then through the pipe parser and it console like the data now i can click save and go to command prompt and type node node app.js see the data is coming every one second it give the six seven eight nine like this i get i'm getting the data now we need we can create a mysql database and uh, put the data into the database so i have created that that video in here uh, how to 
install the video uh, MySQL, it's here. So we go to MySQL Workbench in the search bar here and type MySQL. The first one is MySQL Workbench. And click here. Put your password for MySQL. So first we need to create the database. That's for that we can click the schema using this button. Uh, for the database, I'm going to use USB and apply and apply. Finish. So the database USB created, expand this one and table right click and create table. And table name, I'm going to change it to STM32. And the, for the column, first one I'm going to enter ID. And uh, that's integer, click primary key, primary key, not null, also auto increment. This, this three of them ticked. Next one, next column is uh, date time, date time and that is date time variable. The last one is reading, reading and that is integer, int and click apply. So it should be like this and click apply, click finish. Now the database and table created, we go to Visual Studio code and we change the code to new code from my website. The new code is here from here until here. Copy it and delete this one and paste it. And uh, for the COM, we need to change it to COM8 for me. So how it does this? It requires the MySQL as well and uh, host is localhost, root is user, sorry, user is root, password you need to change it to whatever password you use, uh, database is USB, that's the one I created and it's a connection. Now serial port COM8, I changed it and the same line and then whenever the data is on, we use this query, this is the table I created and then it goes to the database. Now we can click save and go to command prompt again and type node app.js again, enter. See, it's inserting every one minute a new data. It's inserted several times. I stop it, control C. Now we go to MySQL workbench and expand the table. This table, I open it and I can see the ID and the date, time and the reading. It's all are here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.